for tonight, Sol Campbell. It's that kind of evening. The three games so far in the tournament have all had one thing in common. They've all started quickly as if the players, the King, Zidane to Gallas, and a wallop into the England supporters from Vieira's shot. Perez showing a good turn of foot against Scholes, and it'll... Rooney uh, forcing his way in front of Silvestro, who responded with some muscular play of his own, and he gets the throw. Somewhat to King, or King got himself in the way, take your pick. Bounced up and... Uh, it's given against Steven Gerrard. Particularly great, or particularly well rehearsed, and, uh, well, it was Lampard. Who is on the bench. It's often used from the bench these days by Sven Joran Eriksson. The free kick is England's. Zidane, unchallenged, in an area where England will have worked and worked to try to stop that happening. They've left out Nicky Butt, the most thing, waiting to make a move for a cross when it does come. That's Trezeguet! And that's what that movement was all about. England couldn't keep track of him. He was jockeying this way and that. Not long runs, just a yard to one side, then a check back again. And so that he got to the ball when it came in and flashed the header. Too close for Vieira. Ooh, it was a surprise. Uh, doesn't often get that far forward. That's about as close as he usually comes. Pires. They played their way around Ashley Cole. Repositioning, England have got a lot in the middle. And uh, the whistle's gone against Michael Owen. Vieira was trying to steal it from Lampard. Cropping up on the left, having a run at Gallas, but not past Gallas, who got to the ball, had to get that tackle absolutely right. Comes out to Scholes off Lisa Razou, and that's the way it's been. For Paul Scholes, prolific at club level. And concerned, it doesn't say a lot, but he had that. And it's just hoisted in, and uh, Trezeguet trying to help it on, but it came in, of course, the World Cup. Vieira. Still Rooney. Skulls waiting on the edge of the area for Rooney can uh, fight to get across any. Just been edged out of it by... Bartes made his mistake. Sent Neville. And that's uh, Lisa Rizzo getting a bit tight on Beckham. Legal position, the number six. Oh, it's in! Frank Lampard. And Beckham has provided an England lead here in Lisbon. It was hit in with power and headed in with power by the player that Sven Joran Eriksson brought in. Tim by Zidane. James starting to go for it. Oh, Owen, there was a bit of a misjudgment here. It is half time in Lisbon. The French. In football terms, France uh, pretty much. Oh, and Henri, whether he's trying to set himself up for a shot, he produces a shot then that flies uh, comfortably at David James. How well he made it, but here's Henri in Arsenal style. Oh, James would have liked to him. And, uh, Neville defends. Beckham ends up. Oh, Zidane. Not sure from in Eindhoven to Portugal and lost 3-2. That's going to be the time, but to Gerard and it's Beckham trying to reach it, but it wasn't. Henri, Trezeguet making a run, Henri goes for goal, but only uh, makes it reasonably comfortable for James.
tucks in, of course, there's no one left. And that gives plenty of free ball to Gary Neville. With, with. Oh, the arm was up by Gary Neville. And uh, ref Campbell has stayed back. Beckham takes. Helped on by that dangerous head of Lampard. To put him in. It's shaping up to be a situation of that sort of possibility. And there's uh, Trezeguet, Perez, England back in numbers. But uh, there was a foot up in any case. And it all will uh, whip and dip if he catches it. And it's Beckham. It's a better effort than the one with the dead ball. Wayne Rooney for England. Scholes has made up some ground to catch up with Rooney, who just lost his legs. Oh, and then... Uh, Pires finds Rooney. He's brought down. Scholes. Flag was up. Ori. Couldn't keep it down. Lofted ball that the King defends, but uh, Marcus Merck saw a push. Lele for Zidane. Well, that's. And Perez, Lizarazu. Back line. Lizarazu. Vieira. It's still Vieira. He's missed it. But it wouldn't have counted. Maybe like this. The, the impressive Vieira. It's Wayne Rooney. He's got a man up with him. Oh, he's brought down by Silvestra, who might well go off here. Now it's yellow, but it's a penalty in Turkey against Bartes. And England haven't wrapped it up. And Bartes gets the congratulations. He knows about Beckham's game. And what will that mean in the grand scheme of things? Great guesswork, admirable athleticism. And here for the rise for sell. Oh, and it spat up and hit Bartes in the face. <laughs> He's taking his time. He's uh, certainly got water in his eyes. Henri put a lot of energy into the leap. I had none left for the header. Vieira. Well, no. again, it's uh, direct, and uh, England would expect to cope with that, really. It's the sort of football that um, week in, week out they might get to. Goal kick. Sa Sanyol. Surprised that he uh, bent it in with his left foot. Jack Santini. Tour. Sanyol, Makalele. And it would have been a hurt to lose to a, a lead to a Makalele goal. But uh, the defended time. Cole's header. Oh, I think the referee was half thinking about giving that in favour. Pivotal moment in the evening still with Zidane. It is! It is! In the nick of time for France. The great man produces a great moment. And that penalty failure by David Beckham takes on an altogether different... And Santini leads these celebrations. And England have lost their lead, which they've dampened back again. Oh! And uh, Ori brought down by James. That surely is going to be a penalty. And what's going to happen to James here? It's yellow for him. What a turnaround. You just could not... Zidane to win it. Yes. It's heartbreak for England. France have pulled some real fire out of the seemingly dying embers because
First from a free kick, and then from the penalty spot, Zinedine Zidane has confirmed his status in the game. Barthez watches, and he knows what a part he's played in a truly extraordinary evening of European football, and phenomenal for France. Sven-Joran Eriksson has to take this on the chin.